Well, welcome to the world. We're going to have some real excitement today, and I'm going to pace a little bit. Is that okay? Okay, I'm going to actually invade your turf by coming over here. Okay, but I want to talk to you about a couple of things. First of all, you are here, and you are brilliant to be here because of the fact that other people didn't show, which means they're not as engaged as you. That must mean you're the cream of the crop, right? I'm the cream of the crop. Oh, try one more. You're the cream of the crop, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So let, we're here all to kickstart your career because we want to make sure you are successful and we're going to look at life's challenges and learn how to become champions. That's the name of the game here today. So with that, we're going to enter the change zone. A lot of you are in that magic area, that age time of a major life change. There's four of them all together in life. The very first one was puberty. Okay, and it was traumatic, except this one, there's no pimples involved. But it is much, much worse than that because of the fact it's going to be very traumatic because now you are leaving that comfort zone, that time where mom and dad take care of you. Mom and dad pay the tuition, and they do all those wonderful things. Your mom's going to stop waking you up in the morning, and you'll have to save money and then get a Oh my goodness, uh, oh my God, yes. So people will stop asking you to come to class. You will not be getting a participation certificate or a trophy when you don't get the job for a job interview. Oh no, so it's a different world, isn't it? Because you've always been rewarded. You played soccer when you were five years old and you got a trophy even though your team finished last place because of the fact that you're really good, right? Okay, so, and, and, they, and so for here, you got a nice bag. When you go for a job interview, they don't give you nice bags. They don't give you continental breakfasts either on the job interviews. Oh my gosh, this is a different world. People will not ask you, you will have to go ask them. Oh my gosh. And they may say no. Well, that's really traumatic, isn't it? This is a different world. You're leaving this magical bubble that you've been in. Some of you have already been out in the world, so we're going to talk about some things. You'll have to make your own decisions. And by the way, there's lions out there waiting to pounce and eat you, okay? Because this is Orange County. This is California. Oh my gosh, the job market is tough. But you've already made a really smart decision. Uh, an associate degree pays 19.8% higher on, on a national basis than a high school diploma. A high school diploma person can expect to gross about $35,000 annually. Uh, an associate degree is $42,000 annually. In the Orange County Register three months ago, they published an article and they talked about the reality of what it takes to live in Orange County on your own. Anybody have an idea what that magic number is? It is not $35,000. It is not $42,000. Throw a number out there. It's not eighty. What is it? It is $62,000. For do you live on your own to have an apartment in Orange County and to actually have a decent life, you have to make at least $62,000 a year. So that being said, here you go. If you get a bachelor's degree, you will make 48.9% more than if you have an associate degree, 62000 Gee, do you think you need a bachelor's degree to live here in Orange County? Isn't that incredible how that number worked out? Master's degree, 20.7%. And then if you get yourself a doctorate, 51.2%, except getting a doctorate, takes about 8 to 10 years of education, unless you're really slow, then it takes longer. I won't tell you how old I was when I got mine. Anyway, but it, you, you can do it, make real money, but it takes time and money. So if you're going to go on to school, you have to pay more money for that, right? Okay, you've already been really smart. You're at a community college. Instead of spending the same amount of money that somebody at USC did for their first two years, you're here. Did you save a lot of money doing that? Did you get to stay at home? Yes, a lot of you stayed at home. Is that a smart move? Yes. Some of you didn't want to. I know. Okay, but the truth is you did and you're here and you made some wise decisions already. So the, the potential of you going on is high, okay, and getting that extra money. But there's bears out there, okay? So, and there's lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my, you knew that was coming, didn't you? Okay, so let's back up. Let's all say it together. Lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my, yes, yes. Anyhow, so pursue your education on full throttle. Don't stop. I'm telling you, if you stop, the probability of you going on gets dramatically less. So if you pause, even if you have to put your education on hold a little bit, 
simply don't stop. Keep on plowing through and make certain that in the process that you, you continue on. Now, but keep in mind, there's lions, tigers, and bears out there. Have you all heard about Corinthian College? Okay, Corinthian College is a, is a nationwide college that totally collapsed because they were lying on their stats about career placement for students. They were looting students. Okay, what is your tuition per hour here at Irvine Valley College? What are you paying? Forty-six fifty. When you go to University of Phoenix, how much is it an hour? It's over four hundred and fifty dollars per hour. Okay, so when you start talking about how much it costs, there are people out there willing to take your money and get you a degree, but at what cost does it come to you, right? So you gotta pay real close attention. Don't go in with your eyes, well, well, what am I gonna do? Because you may owe somebody big time. Now, let me tell you another terrifying thing, and your counselors may have told you this already, okay? What happens when you, get a, when you go into debt on tuition? Are you in debt and must you repay it? Can you ever run away from it and hide underneath the, the, the shroud of bankruptcy? You cannot go bankrupt. Your debt will continue no matter what. So when you go through this whole thing of you owe me, that whole issue of money will follow you the rest of your life. So now, remember I told you that big time, that transition time? You're there. This is that moment where all of a sudden you're out of that whole high school world, the community college world, you're diving into that transition over here, and now instead of you being coddled and somebody saying, oh, come on over here, we'll help you. Okay, the, the, the employers don't want your help, they want you to help them, right? It's a different world. And there's lions and tigers and bears out there. Don't graduate forever poor. Plan your future finances. And then how many jobs are you going to have? Statistically, right now, you're between your whole group, this, this cohort group right here, you're going to average 11 to 14.7 jobs. Now, how you do a 0.7 job is beyond me, but that's what they say. Okay, so you're going to probably have over 10 jobs in your whole lifetime. You may have seven different careers. Now, by saying careers, that may mean you may be in this career pathway over here in real estate, and all of a sudden you jump into this other pathway over here, totally different from that pathway, into a different pathway. Okay, so you talk about that, that is going to be a really critical factor when you look at your strong interest inventory. Can I tell you a story about me? Is that okay? Okay, okay. I, I took strong interest in inventory a couple of years ago. <clears throat> so um, and when I took it, it, I was going to be a composer. I was going to be a composer of music. Okay, that was my dream. I wanted to be a composer. Basically, I wanted to be a musicologist, which is somebody that's a music historian. That was my goal. So I took, I took the Strong's interest inventory, and it came up with these stupid, ridiculous things that I thought was the dumbest things I ever saw in my entire life. I knew who I wanted to be. I had at least five different degrees I wanted to get when I was at Macomb Community College in Michigan. I took the Strong's interest inventory, and it said I should be a CPA, I should be an attorney, or an HR professional. And I thought, what is HR? That is the stupidest thing I ever heard in my life. And I really had that attitude. I was deeply offended at the strong interest inventory. Let me tell you that right now, I'm the vice chancellor of human resources. I handle almost all the legal affairs for the district. I work between 10 and 14 lawyers every single month, depending on what topic I'm working on. And I've been the chief business officer for the district. Was Strong's right on? Yeah. Yeah, right there. It's right there. Okay, so the reality is, will this thing sit there? What Strong does is measures your interest and matches them to the job market. There's really good information on that. So when you do that, don't suffer from no goal. Now, do you have the right to change jobs? Okay, just in case you need it, I now, I grant you all permission to change career pathways. Now, did you need my permission? No. Do you need your own permission sometimes? Yes. You have a right to sit down and change your pathway from over here if something comes up and it looks really good and it draws your interest to the point that you really want to change pathways, can you do that? If everybody's planning for you to be a doctor and your grades are 3.2 average right now, let me give you a clue. You will probably not make it in medical school, right? I'm sorry, I, nobody ever told you that before. I'm telling you right now, because I get to leave, your counselors get to pick up the pieces after I leave. Okay, so, so that being said, the reality of it is, don't suffer from no goal, but give yourself permission to have a goal. 
job offers for real money, here's another thing you may have a problem in the aspect of you may get a really cool job right now that makes serious cash money in your world. Suppose you got a job today paying $80,000. Should you take that job? Even though that job involves travel and you will not be able to complete your bachelor's degree. What do you think? It depends. You have to weigh this versus this, right? So in the process of thinking that, there are jobs and opportunities out there that will arise that may take you away from your goal. If your goal is to go on and get a bachelor's degree, do you need to pursue that? Okay, will there be a price? Okay, will there be things that come in the middle between you and that goal? Can a good job draw you from that goal? Yes, so pay attention to that. Make certain you don't lose sight of where you want to go because there's, let me hear you, lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my, okay, relationships can sidetrack you from your goals. Share your goals and be on the same page. Don't suffer from love lust. <laughs> now, have love lust. Feel free to have all the love and lust that you want. I'm not endorsing that, however, but that said, it, can a relationship draw you away from your ultimate goal? Yes. When you have a relationship that you're really intense about, because can relationships be intense? I think they should be intense. Good night. Why bother having one if it's not intense? But the reality of it is make certain there is a conversation that takes place. I want to do this. Okay, can you handle that? And it's going to cost my going to night school Mondays and Wednesdays every single week, or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm fortunate I have this really cool wife. When I went back to get my doctorate, because I went back, and I was in my 40s when I finished my doctorate, every single weekend, every single weekend, we were newlyweds, okay, every single weekend from Friday night all the way to Sunday night, I sat at a table and worked my dissertation for five months straight. It was miserable. She brought me food and everything else. I could just keep on working and typing. It was very difficult, but we had to have a dialogue. That was a big deal. So feel free to pursue love lust, except for the fact that make certain that you have the conversation that here's my goals, what I want to do. And by the way, you need to listen to the other person, what their goals are. Sometimes they may not match up, and sometimes the goals may conflict in that relationship. Other times it may be really good, but have the conversation. And then pursuit of things can derail your goals. Get your education first and career in high gear first. That pile of treasure. Oh my gosh. My son is a graduate from Saddleback College and Irvine Valley College. He played soccer here four years ago. Okay, He has a friend of his from high school, and his friend is collecting stuff. He is obsessed with cars and computers. Obsessed, like he changes the cars like we change clothes. Okay, so with that, he hasn't finished his associate degree and he's 24 years old. Not my son, but this is his friend. And he hasn't finished anything except for the fact he's got a good job and he's got all the stuff, but he doesn't have a degree yet. Not very good, is it? This is a danger. Money, uh, love lust, and things because there's lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my, wait, I have an idea. Let's change the paradigm from lions, tigers, and bears to think, plan, do, oh yeah. That sound good? Can you say that with me? Think, plan, and do, oh yeah. I didn't hear the oh yeah very well. Let's try that again. Think, plan, and do, oh yeah. Okay, so think. Think about what you want to do, and then plan. I know planning is really hard to do. It hurts your brain sometimes. But think, and before you start acting, go through and plan what you want to do, how you want to get there. And by the way, do you have permission to change your plan? Yes. Do I have to give you permission? No. Can you get your own permission? Yes? OK. And then implement the plan. A lot of people, they do this, they do this, and they think, and they think, and they think, and they never implement. So it's think, plan, and do. So the other part is get a group of wise counselors. Now, a lot of you are younger. Your parents, I hate to tell you this, they're actually smart. I, I mean, seriously, they're smart. And do you think your parents have your best interest in mind? Yes. Are they people you should listen to? Yes, yes. OK. Are there other people? OK. 
I, I recommend that you build yourself a group of wise counselors that you go to for advice. And it may be somebody, if you read some of the movies, uh, how many of you are Star Trek people? Oh my gosh, you guys need to get on. Okay, James T. Kirk's advisor was who? He was a gardener at, at, at the university. Did you know that? He adopted a gardener. Can you adopt somebody that's totally unusual and different than you would expect normally to be your counselor? Are there people whose judgment might help you because of the fact they're not involved in your life? Yeah, sometimes it's really good. But build a group of wise counselors. And more education, understand everything before you sign. If you don't understand it, don't sign it. Okay, now I'm, I'm serious. If you don't understand it, don't sign it. Okay, this is a big deal. The, it would be nice, you know how when you pick up uh, a bag of chips and you look in the back of it and there's all the nutrition factors in the back, it would certainly be nice if they did the same thing for education. When you go on for your bachelor's degree, it would be nice if Cal State Fullerton gave you a list of all the different things that you're going to pay for by the time you're done and what your deliverables are. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, but they don't do that. They cobble the things up because confusion helps who? Not you, it helps them. Right? So I don't mean to be cynical about higher education, except I am. Make certain that you understand everything before you sign. Too many don't, and debt can weigh you down. So let's say it again. Think, plan, and do. Oh, yeah. Plan for success. Avoid falling into a job. You would be totally shocked as to how many people are 40 years old and totally lost, and they happen to let the world lead them, and they fell into different jobs. It is very, very, very common. When you sit down and you look at your goals and plans, look at the strong test, start focusing in on the general path you want to go, a lot of people fall into jobs. My very first job out of college was working at a fabric store. Me. I was in a management training program on a national chain and everything else. I, four years ago, I got my own retail store in fabrics. It was me, the stock boy, and 23 women. Oh my gosh, that was incredible. What an intense experience. I love mixed gender workplaces, but that was over the top. So, so and all the customers are almost all female. So that was really an experience. That was really good for me for, for building good management skills. But retail is an excellent career pathway, but you work 55 hours a week. It, it is hard, hard work. And if one customer gets ticked off, can they call the president of the company? Yes, they can. And do they? R restaurants. I think are truly the most difficult job in management of all because of the fact that people are hungry and when they're hungry and they have to wait for their food and the food's not the way they want it, do they scream to thy heaven? Yes, those are fabulous opportunities for you to learn human interaction skills. I think those are wonderful places to be. But maybe your strong interest inventory isn't that. But is that a, is that a pathway to go through, to consider? Yes. Apply where you want to be. Give yourself permission to explore the world of jobs. Find a, a place that you love to be, and then be passionate about it. You ever meet those people, especially in the morning, that are kind of grumpy? Every so often that is you? Drink coffee. Okay, so, so, so the big thing is be the person that you want to have. Uh, you have permission to explore jobs. Think, plan, and do on a career path. Consider the three-legged stool. Now, this is really heavy thinking, and I want you to think about this just for a second. Most jobs have some kind of combination of time, money, and power. By power, I'm talking about positions of authority. By time, I'm talking about your time. There are jobs where you can have a lot of personal time. Now, can everybody in this room be a millionaire? I personally think everybody here probably could. Do you know what it would cost to be a millionaire? It may cost you all of your relationships. It may cost you working 80 hours a week without taking any vacation. You realize that? Is it possible? If you sit there, you hustle, you pick up multiple jobs, you look for opportunities, is it possible to become a millionaire? Yes. May you sacrifice everything in your entire life for that one specific goal? Yes. Is that what you want? If it is, good. Pursue it and pursue it with vigor, nonstop. Okay, but if you want some time for yourself, you sit down and look at the career pathways. Most jobs have two out of three. You can get money or power. If I worked in the private sector, I would probably make 30 to 50% more than they make here. Now, I'm not poorly paid. I'm not, not, I'm not whining at all. 
I'm just telling you, in the private sector, my job would pay at least 30 to 50 percent more as a chief human resource officer for a three-quarter billion dollar organization. That's what my job is. If you put me in the private sector, would I make more money? Yes. Why do I want to be here? I kind of like what I'm doing because of the fact I'm helping you. And by helping you, I help I change the world. So I got one of these weird social things, I want to change the world, you know, and, and that's kind of who I am. And I'm doing it in this bizarre little office way over here, doing the backroom stuff to make your faculty successful so they can make you successful. So that's my motivation, so that's, that's the choice path that I made. So with that, consider that. Um, there's jobs that cost you time but provide power and money. There's jobs that provide you time but not as much power and money. Okay, do you think your faculty members get rich? You think they're rich? Okay. Do they have massive power? They have it over you. Do they have power in your organization? That kind of depends who they are. Okay. Do they have time? Yeah, they have a lot of time. Uh, their own personal time, they get to set their schedules, they get to choose classes, they get to choose counseling time. They get a lot of choices on that whole process. They, they've done this too. Have I done this? Do you get to do this? Now, this is deep thinking stuff. When it comes down to you're in your 20s, your 30s, you're looking at this. So look at the three-legged stool. You get two out of three when you go down the career path. Visualize a job in five years, 10 years, 25 years. Did you know that community colleges are inverse to the economy? What did I just say? Community colleges are inverse to the economy. Why? That's true. Now, why is that true? Yes, yes. Or there's no overtime available, so they come to work, they come to school, okay? Now, what happens when the economy picks up? People don't have time to come to school because they're so busy working. Or they're, they're going from full-time status to part-time status. So the community colleges are actually the inverse of the economy, okay? Now, what are jobs that are recession-proof? This is called an interactive process, which means I stop talking all the time and I engage you. Okay. There will always be garbage men. There will always be need for doctors. There will always be needs for accountants. There will always be needs for nurses. There will always be need for baristas at Starbucks. Yes, yes. Okay, are there jobs that tend to be recession-proof? Yes. Are there jobs that when the economy goes down, their job picks up? Community colleges, alcohol breweries, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, but are there jobs that when the economy picks up, they pick up? Yes, what would be those jobs? Retail, okay, retail goes boom. R retail now is exploding in a lot, a lot of different areas, except for the fact if you look at the stats, the retail for normal box stores is one to 4% higher, but the online is booming too, right? So is that a whole different pathway? That pathway simply wasn't there 20 years ago, was it? Okay, so is the world changing? So look for recession-proof jobs. And then when you land a job, be the best. I mean, why would you want to be mediocre? Would you want to be the best? And in all seriousness, you're IBC people, aren't you? Uh, I want you to look good. Do you want to look good? Okay, when you show up and you land a job, be the best. Be the person you like to work with. Be positive, be friendly, be kind, even when nobody's looking. If you're not a positive person, you go to work lie. I mean, who wants to sit next to a grump? Does anybody want to sit next to a grump? Anybody? I don't see any hands raised. Does everybody like those people that are positive and full of energy? Yes. So even if you're not that person, okay, pretend you are. Okay, and then, then when, you, when you get a job, let me tell you, when you get a job, this is a big issue. When you get a job, your first year, walk down every single hallway of the building that you're in and introduce yourself and talk to everybody. Now that's really cool, and ask them what they do. Let me tell you a secret. Everybody likes to talk about themselves. What do you do? What's your biggest challenge? What's the funnest thing you did in the last 30 days? Are those fun questions to answer? Yeah, everybody likes to talk about it. Well, I did this. And then act interested. You watched paint dry for seven hours? Wow, that was really good. And you watched a golfing channel. In my mind, it's about the same. You watch golf, you watch men take metal sticks and hit a ball on a green. It didn't do it yourself. Anyway, so, so are, are people interested in talking about the things they do? Yes. 
be that person, be that coworker. And then let's say it one more time, think, plan, and do, oh yeah. And then this is your world and this is your time. So make it absolutely awesome. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.